Welcome back, and thanks for staying with us here at 1030. I'm Sarah Sanchez. And I'm Brent Harden. We start this half hour in Portland, where firefighters are recounting a daring rope rescue that saved a victim earlier this month. Yeah, teams from the Middletown Fire Department are trained in high-angle rope rescue. And those tactics might have saved a life. Here's Fox 61's Jim Altman with a story you will only find here on Connecticut's news station. Atop the brownstone quarry in Portland. Sheer rock from where the brush cleared to the water. Fire crews are back on solid ground. Best we could tell, the gentleman stumbled in the darkness, found himself uh, incapacitated on the, on the side of the cliff here. But during a call earlier this month, so much was hanging in the balance. Essentially, he was trapped in the brush and he kept falling. In darkness, Portland firefighters responded. He was in peril. His life was in peril. A victim had stumbled over the edge and become trapped. They called Middletown Fire, who are experts in high angle rope rescue. Battalion Chief Drew France led his 12 member team. So in this situation, this is this is what we call a, a low frequency, high risk, where we train for the worst case scenario and, and these guys brought their A game. So where we're standing on top of the quarry is about 100 feet. The victim was caught 30 feet below, meaning that a drop into the water would have meant a 70 foot fall and the victim couldn't swim. Firefighters Joe Rapoli and Jake D'Amato geared up and then descended. The victim was stuck in a, a bush. His ankle was stuck in the bush. And the second I got underneath him, he let go. And that's when firefighter D'Amato, the second rescuer, came down to assist me. Coverage from top to bottom. And once they secured a harness to the victim, it was 70 feet to safety. So there was two Zodiac boats, little um, inflatable dinghy boats down in the quarry waiting for us. And we lowered them down into those boats and they carted them off to the shore. Portland Fire was able to assist us with setting up systems. The gentleman was transported to the hospital for non-life threatening injuries and uh, lived to tell a story another day. Two departments, so many moving parts and a single objective met. Everyone worked together, everyone worked well and the outcome was a win. The group effort definitely changed the outcome and was able to save his life, yes. Oh, we were very proud. I mean, it's, it's a great feeling, you know, showing up to something like this and watching your training and dedication um, pay off. In Portland, Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.